Hey guys, what's up? It's Rink here, and today I'm going to be showing you two ways of grinding social ability, and I believe these are the only two ways in the game that you can actually grind the skill. And the first way that we're going to grind it is through investing, and the other way is through turning in unreported discoveries. And what unreported discoveries are, are discoveries like map, or like discoveries you're going to find out in the ocean, or discovering a port. So, and not even discovering the ocean, like uh, natural phenomenon and stuff. So pretty much if it's a quest, you're not going to get an underported discovery for it. So only maps, natural phenomenon, and such. Anyway, so let's get back to that first first kind of grinding. So for this one, you're going to need a lot, and I mean a lot, of request investment books. Like thousands of these things. And I've gone through thousands testing this grind for you guys. But this is definitely, definitely the best way to grind it. And you're going to need the uh, Adept of Age 15th Century P3. And an easy way to get this is if you go to Lisbon and go to the Maritime Guild, there's going to be a quest that will eventually pop up called True Face of the Brave. And this quest is so easy. You don't even have to leave Lisbon to complete it, and it'll get you this. And you need this so you can get the request investment books out of uh, Florence, which is through Pisa. And what I would suggest if you're grinding this is you need to put a shared storage all if you have one in Pisa just so you can constantly flow these request investment books to your main. Anyway, with that in tow, I'm going to show you guys how to do this grind. So, the formula based on this grind I'll have somewhere on the screen along with a map to show you how much money you need. But, the formula is rank times rank, and then you multiply that by a thousand, then you add a thousand. So, as you see, I'm rank seven, so seven times seven would be 49. That's what I need. And then, so you multiply that by a thousand, That'd be 49,000 plus 1,000. That would be 50,000. So what that means is to invest in a port and gain proficiency, I need to invest a minimum of 50,000. So as you can see, 3,730. Let's invest under than 50,000. 44,000 is pretty close, but watch. No proficiency gain. Now let's invest over 50,000. And no matter what that amount is over 50,000, you will always earn the same proficiency. Like I earned four here. Sometimes I'll earn three because I have a skill notes on and it's a plus 20% and it's kind of buggy. So, but you'll always earn the same. So now let's look times 20, 460,000. That's a lot more than what we invested that time. And another plus four sociability. And usually you'll only earn plus three in ports like Dover and you'll earn plus five in large cities with like adventure mediators and guilds and stuff. But yeah. It doesn't matter how much you invest, you'll always earn the same proficiency as the minimum. So as you can see now, our times two is at 50,000 because of how much we invested and we were investing in times five for proficiency. So I'll show you guys that it doesn't matter what times of investments you're making. It's just the number. So 38, let's invest our 50,000 minimum because I'm ranked seven. And then there you go, 43,742. So as long as we keep doing this, investing the minimum required you see it goes up to 52,000 we'll get the proficiency and then once this once this times one becomes 50,000 we'll invest here to get our proficiency but this is the entire grind it's just sitting in a port with a lot of request investment books and doing this anyway i'll uh i'll finish this and i'll show you guys the number from my test but for now i'm going to take you to the next part of this grind so i'll see you there all right, so we're in London now, and we're going to turn in some discoveries for quests, and this gives... It really doesn't give that much sociability, but it is a really good way to grind it on the side. So I'll show you what my sociability is now. It's 4,035. And then so we are going to not invest. That's the wrong button. So this guy loves religious relics, and you're going to want to find someone who likes what you're turning in because it gives you QMPs, and those rewards are nice. So we're going to turn in 21... And I'll show you guys what our proficiency is after that. And you really don't earn a lot from this. Like, compared to investing, I mean, it's okay, but investing is the much better way to go about grinding this because this is just so limited. And here, let's look at our trade after looking. So we gained uh, about, what, my math is right, what, 44 proficiency from all of from 21 turn-ins, and it's not that great. So investing is definitely the best way to go about doing this. Anyway, 
With that, let's get to the numbers. So even though we earned very little with our uh, turning in discoveries, we earned a lot with the tests that I did for the investing. So I invested in 15 ports, and in those 15 ports, I invested 10 mil each. Somewhere between 10 mil and 10.5 mil, because it's a little, it's a little off. So with those 10 mil per port, I earned about 500 per off per 10 mil at those ports, and which is not good, but it's not the it's not bad experience at all. It's a lot better than what I thought it would be, to be honest. And this grind was actually really fun to make a video on for me, and I, I really enjoyed myself discovering parts of this game that I had no idea about. But anyway, yeah, that's the grind video. If you guys like it, please remember to like and subscribe. That'd be great for me, and I'll see you in the next one. Y'all have a great day.